Albert Pujols is an amazing hitter who's still quite impressive even in his 40s. But we have a few surprises that you may not know. Like the fact that Albert Pujols and his wife got separated just after she had a brain tumor removed. Stay tuned as we'll be unleashing more unknown facts about Pujols that he has kept from his loyal fans. From his luxurious fleet of cars to his thousands of dollars worth of wristwatches and his multi-million dollar mansion. Albert Pujols was born in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic on the 16th of January 1980. At a very young age, Pujols' father, a popular pitcher in the Dominican Republic, introduced Pujols to baseball. There's a common phrase, catch them young, which seems to have been the case here and dare we say, it paid off. At just 16 years old, Pujols' family migrated to the United States. While in high school, he played for his school's baseball team and impressed major league scouts with his talent. Just to be clear about how awesome he was in high school, he won the All-State Athlete twice. As expected and deserved, he got a baseball scholarship to Maple Woods Community College. While in college, he further blew the minds of the MLB scouts. He played shortstop for the college team and batted 462 with 22 home runs before he was even drafted to play in MLB. Initially, no team was willing to draft him at first because of his age. Honestly, their loss. He was later drafted by the Cardinals and played in the minor leagues for just one year before moving to the major leagues. We mean, the man had to have been amazing. It only took one year to get to the big leagues. In his first season in the major leagues, he showed prowess and was unanimously voted Rookie of the Year. He led the Cardinals to the World Series Championship twice in 2006 and 2011. He was named the NL MVP three times and the NL Home Run title twice. Overall, he played for the Cardinals for 11 seasons, then moved to the LA Angels for over nine seasons, played for the LA Dodgers for half a year, and now he's back to his beginnings and signed a one-year deal with the Cardinals. Did you know that this one-year deal he signed with the Cardinals marks the beginning of Pujols' final season in the major leagues? Yes, the icon is retiring. The Cardinals were quite honored to have him back on their team and named him a legacy pick for the All-Star Game because of his impressive career. During all these seasons playing for different teams, he has several awards. Two-time World Series champion, three-times NL MVP, NL Rookie of the Year, two-times Gold Glove Award, and NL Batting Champion amongst many other awards. The guy literally has over 45 rows of awards. He's definitely on his path to the Hall of Fame. The man was, and still is, impressive. With all his successes, Pujols has definitely amassed quite the fortune. Pujols has a whopping net worth of $170 million. When he joined the Cardinals in 1999, his initial signing bonus was $60,000. He later signed an extended seven-year contract with Cardinals worth $100 million and earned a base salary of $28 million per year. Pujols signed a 10-year contract with the LA Angels worth $254 million, the second largest contract in baseball history at the time, with the first being Alex Rodriguez's $275 million worth 10-year contract. Pujols has several endorsement deals that have contributed to his wealth with brands like Nike, Go Rentals, Beats by Dre, Not of This World, and Marucci Sports. He signed a $3 million endorsement deal with Nike and made another $700,000 again in 2019. As much as Pujols is making his money, he sure knows how to spend it. One thing Pujols loves doing after playing baseball is owning cars. His baseball icon owns several cars, from SUVs to luxurious cars. You name it. Let's start with the Bentley Continental Flying Spur that he owns, which costs about $214,000. The Bentley has a 6-liter W12 powerful engine capable of producing 626 horsepower and accelerate up to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. You think that's impressive? Wait till you hear about the Lamborghini. Pujols' Lamborghini Murcielago costs about $338,000. It has a 6-liter gas V12 powerful engine that's capable of producing 631 horsepower. 
It also has a super speed of up to 60 miles per hour acceleration in just 3.2 seconds, with a maximum speed of 213 miles per hour. Now that is super impressive. Pujols also owns a Rolls Royce, a Ford F-150, and a Cadillac Escalade. He does not only love cars for himself, but he also, he also tends to give cars out. Pujol surprises longtime friend Dino Ebel, Dodgers third base coach, with a 2021 Stingray Dodger Blue convertible Corvette as a gift for all his hard work and help when Pujols was with the Angels. He also gifted his wife with a white Ferrari on her birthday. In 2012, Pujols bought a $5.5 million mansion spanning over 9,200 square feet in Irvine, California. The mansion was a courtyard with a fountain, a center island kitchen, a rotunda entry with a winding staircase, a formal living room, five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a front yard pool, and so much more. He later sold the mansion for $7.75 million. He made a fortune out of that too. Pujols also owns a house spanning 2.45 acres worth $2 million in Wildwood, Missouri. The house has five bedrooms, six bathrooms, an exercise room, a library, a theater room, and a four-car garage for an impressive fleet of cars. Pujols definitely has fabulous taste. He owns a reactor wristwatch, which he was given in honor of his magnificent performance in the 2008 season. The wristwatch is designed with a unique diamond nucleus of 2.25 carats of VS1 diamonds on the bezel. This wristwatch is worth about $40,000. Amazing talent, hard work, and consistency definitely earns you the good things in life. Just so you know, Pujols invests just as much as he spends. He cares about wealth management, and early in his career, he's been working with true capital management to plan a stable life for his family even after retirement. Man cares about the future of his family. In 2006, Pujols and his family invested in a restaurant called Pujols 5 Westport Grill in Missouri. They later changed the name to St. Louis Hall of Fame Grill perfect name for a soon-to-be Hall of Famer. In 2008, he joined St. Louis Soccer United to bring the team to the St. Louis area, but that did not work out. As you know, not every investment yields profit. He also published an autobiography titled Pools, More Than the Game by Scott Lamb and Tim Ellsworth. The book talks about the baseball player's career from Missouri to Los Angeles. On the 1st January of 2000, Pujols and Deidre married, and together they raised five children. Did you know that the Pujols first daughter, Isabella Pujols, was adopted? After their marriage, Pujols and his wife, Deidre, had four children, Albert Jr., Sophia, Ezra, and the youngest, Esther Grace. Isabella is Deidre's daughter from a previous relationship, and she has Down syndrome. Pujols has consistently advocated for those affected by Down syndrome, and Albert even started a foundation, Pujols Family Foundation. Pujols and his family are evangelical Christians attending the West County Community Church in Wildwood, Missouri. Unfortunately, in April 2022, Pujols filed for a divorce from his wife of 22 years, and it seemed to have been a mutual decision. The announcement was made by Pujols days after the news that Deidre had undergone a brain surgery to remove a tumor, which was successful. When asked what the reason was, they said it was due to irreconcilable differences. Little fun fact, did you know that Pujols got a perfect score of 100 on the U.S. citizenship test? How many Americans do you know that can get up to 100? As much as Pujols spends and invests in himself and his family, he also loves to help others. He started the Pujols Family Foundation in 2005, which was motivated by his first daughter, Isabella Pujols. The foundation helps to bring families with Down syndrome together. The foundation also helps the Dominican Republic, building a church, baseball fields, new homes, providing clean water for the families. Such incredible work for the people. When asked in an interview about what he did with the $3 million bonus he received when he made his 3,000th hit in 2018, Pujol said he gave part of it to his wife's foundation, Open Gate International which targets the social and economic impact of human trafficking and other exploitive industries. He also donated some to the Pujols Family Foundation. During the pandemic, his foundation provided food and protective masks for about 10,000 families in the Dominican Republic that were in areas impacted mainly by the pandemic. Pujols feels truly blessed to be able to help other people and families. Honestly, we also think that is a true blessing. 
Aside from being a super talented baseball player whose place in the Hall of Fame is certain, Pujols is a very simple man with a down-to-earth personality. Even at 42, Pujols can still play baseball at the highest level, proving his hard work and consistency. Cheers to seeing you in the Hall of Fame Pujols. Be sure to check out more incredible baseball videos at Baseball Plus. See you there.